Hello and welcome to a um, tasting of some old meads. Now I put out a poll on my YouTube page and said, hey, do you guys enjoy one year plus updates on these meads? And uh, a bulk of you said, hey, yes. And uh, here I am. So if you enjoy these videos, let me know down in the comments, but uh, I'm gonna do that for, or do this for two meads today. I have two interesting ones I really wanna find the update on or see what's happened. I have a sake yeast that I used, um, which is kind of interesting. And then I also have a three honey mead that used blackberry clover and buckwheat honey. That's about 15% ABV. Now they're both a little bit different age, but let's talk about them. The three honey mead is uh, roughly about a year and three months old. It was made in December, 2020. And the sake yeast is right at a year old. It was made at the end of February in 2021. Um, now I will of course share the recipes on the screen for each one and let's go and open them up and see what they look like. All right, I've been real excited for both of these, um, especially the three honey one because I remember it being very good about four months in. So I can only imagine with a year plus of age what it looks like, and what it tastes like. So here's what it looks like. Nice and clear. I believe I, uh, it's pretty clear. Uh, it's not the clearest thing I've ever bottled, but that's okay. Like the aromatics. Ooh, yeah, that thing smells great. The uh, buckwheat is definitely <laughs> apparent in there. Buckwheat is a type of honey that'll kick you in the tail pretty quick. And the sake yeast version right here. Also, this one is clear, it looks good. Ooh, hefty pours, oops. <laughs> Getting excited. Uh, I think for the sake of uh, transitioning between them, uh, I might start with the sake yeast version. I, I do want to note that both of these are traditionals in their own right in that, well, mm, debatable. The sake yeast one had a sugar wash used in it. So still a traditional, but it had a little bit of sugar in there to help it out. Mm, you tell me if you think that's a traditional. Is it cheating to add sugar? And is does let's say two thirds honey and one third sugar still make it a mead? Debate in the comments. Um, let's see what this one smells like. Well, that's rich. Woo! That's really dark. I, um, I believe this is avocado blossom honey because you get a, a nutty roastiness to it. Oh, that is that smells fantastic. It's still got a little booziness. They're a little bit hot. 14.5% <laughs> on this one, 15% on the three honey. So again, hefty pours are, might be my downfall here. Man, that honey aroma though is so fragrant. It smells great. I mean, you're getting like bold, bold, dark uh, floral notes. Oh, it's fantastic smelling. Let's go ahead and taste it too, why not? Whoa, that's a journey. The body, the mouthfeel is um, almost, there's so many things happening here. Uh, the mouthfeel on this is like almost adjacent, not, not to maple syrup. Maple syrup is like super thick. Like when you have maple syrup, that is too thick. You don't want that in your drink necessarily, but it's got a thickness to it. And the mouth coating, it's weird. It's like, it's very, um, it like washes over your tongue, which is uh, something we want, but it also just kind of sits. It's got some like gravity to it, which is really weird. It's, it's got wash, but gravity. I don't know if that makes sense. Whoa. This one's very smooth. The honey character is pretty well retained. I will say the, uh, the sake yeast side, I'm not noting a ton of like apparent, well, I guess a, I get a little bit of, uh, of um, interesting character coming from it. I can't quite pinpoint and say like, hey, that is, I haven't had so much sake to be like, I know sake left and right. But I do feel like it adds a little bit of that essence. Let me do a little research real fast. Ah, okay. So I'm looking at the yeast I used. It's for sake and spirits. It's Y yeast, yeast itself. And um, it says, it's made uh, in conjunction with Koji to make a, Wide variety of Asian uh, juice, <laughs> rice-based beverages. 
I think it's juice. Full bodied profile, silky. That's the word I'm thinking of. Smooth on palette and low ester production. Absolutely. This is like very smooth. It's got a little bit of esters to it, but that doesn't have any, sorry, flip it. It doesn't have any esters that are notable that are hurting me by any means. Silky, silky. That is the word I'm, I was looking for. It is very silky. I think almost paired with a little bit of uh, oak, this thing could be super, super interesting and, and great. It is good. And I do believe that sake yeast provides such an interesting body that is beyond anything I've ever tasted. So um, I want to recommend, definitely, I'll, I'll give you, how about this? If I do these videos, I'll give you a recommendation on whether to uh, embark on this journey or not. And for this one, I would say embark on the sake yeast journey because holy cow, this is interesting. This thing is really good, actually. I will say with a year, 14.5%, still got a little bit of bite to it, but super, super interesting. Okay, let's flip gears now. Let's talk about the three honey mead. Now, this was a traditional I made. And this traditional, of course, used three different kinds of honey. I'll review for you. This is the blackberry clover and buckwheat honey. And I use them at different ratios. I'll need to pull up my ratios again. Buckwheat was obviously more potent than, uh, than anything else. So I used a little bit less than that. Also, I'm noting I had a big, I had two months where I didn't make any mead. What was wrong with me? Something was wrong. All right, I used two pounds of blackberry honey, one pound of clover honey, and half a pound of buckwheat. Starting gravity was 1.123, and I believe it fermented almost completely out. I didn't write down the yeast I used. I guess I'll reference my notes for that in my video. So uh, let's try this one, get some nose on it. Ooh, the berry aroma. Bright floral, this thing smells great. It does have some booziness on the nose, I will say. But yeah, there's like a, a fair amount of blackberry um, aromatic coming out of this. And of course, some bright floral notes coming from the blackberry honey, also the clover. And uh, the buckwheat is like kind of back palate, hits me in the back of the neck. Still a little booziness. Here we go. Whoa, whoa. This thing went all over the place. Okay, bright, bright floral fruity note from that blackberry honey. Clover honey um, is also bringing that kind of forward. I feel like the, the buckwheat, I don't can't believe I'm saying this. I maybe could have gone with more buckwheat honey. I thought I would regret it, but I feel like I could use a little more. The bodies are so different. Coming from the sake yeast that was so silky and smooth and wash but no wash, this one has a little more bite, a little more astringency to it. It uh, um, definitely pulls up the moisture in my mouth. This was not oaked, but I do get some tannic, not gritty value coming from the honey. And there is some heat to this. Um, it's 15%, so it's it's gonna be a little bit hot. That, that uh, conjunction of honey though is very interesting. I get so many of these berry, blackberry notes, the, the dark fruity notes coming from the honey that pop out through the the warmth. I do think that, <coughs> excuse me, I do think the warmth from this is coming from that um, buckwheat though. It definitely has a, a slight, as people call horse blanket, um, taste to it, but discernibly not super strong in the buckwheat realm. It just needs time. I will say this one, with it being a traditional, with it being 15%, probably needs another year. The unfortunate thing, pretty sure I don't have another bottle of this. So I do, if I do, it's in my reserves. Um, this needs more time. For all of those characters to kind of zoom in, kind of round each other out and become more warm for the, um, the ABV to not be as apparent, because it is hot. So, super interesting that the yeast, obviously yeast matters, but the yeast have produced two different things here. So, I've enjoyed getting to try this. Um, I will actually, I was gonna lie, I'm a little bit hesitant to 
um, to post a bunch of one-year update videos. Not because I don't think these meads are good, because I, I do think, I know a lot of them are great. Um, I just honestly uh, haven't, haven't seen, how do I put this nicely? I haven't seen the value in doing one-year tastings for my channel, my channel specifically, because I, uh, I often post, like to post new recipes, and I have so many little, I have my hand in so many different series that the, these videos could, are taking place of videos that I feel like might be more important, like a yeast shootout, or like some things. So it's not that I don't want to do them, I just haven't gone around to do them. If you enjoy them, please let me know. I'll, I'll gladly do more of them. I will not do them just for one mead at a time. Um, personally, I think that I have too many meads in my arsenal to do that. And I want to, uh, I, I don't want to dedicate a single video to each one. So I'll probably do them in pairs or trios, stuff like that. But this has been really interesting. If I were to say of the two, which is better to make right now, I guess we can put it that way. Um, the sake yeast actually was super interesting. I think if you paired it in conjunction with some other flavors, you would get some really, really interesting and fun results. This has been a year though, so you kind of got to be patient. Three, the three honey version is good, but it definitely needs more time. So it's also an encouraging time or encouraging way to say, if your mead is not great at one year, that's cool. Don't stress because every brew needs time, especially high ABV brews. Again, if you enjoyed this, let me know down in the comments. Um, let me know of the brews I've posted, what you want to see. Uh, the truth is, because I haven't done a lot of update videos on these things, there's probably some brews that you were like, well, how did that turn out? And I haven't posted a video on it. So maybe I'll come around and do some of those videos, but I need your help. If you'd like to help the channel grow, um, commenting helps the YouTube algorithm and um, also, you know, just liking the video, doing all that stuff. So leave a comment. Thank you for watching. I hope you've had a, a great day or I hope you do have a great day. So with that, cheers.